Hi everybody, it's Dr. Magnifico. This is Sparky. When you tell the universe that you care about something, it showers you with gifts. He is um, he is blocked, so he's got a urinary blockage. He has blocked before, so his family knew what to look for. Um, he's an indoor cat, he's a male cat, he's a little overweight, all of these things kind of go together, um, and he's got a history of it. Um, I'm gonna give you a good demo, demo on, Danny, will you help hold, on, on how to check for a block cat. So your bladder lives right here in front of your pelvis. So here's the tail, here's about the pelvis. You can feel kind of the bones of the spine and I'm right in between the back legs. So I put my hand in a U shape and I get under here right in front of the back legs. I have people palpating for the bladder up here but it really lives very in the very back part of the abdomen. With my U shaped hand, I'm kind of squeezing and I'm right back here. So here's where I am and I'm up against his spine and I can feel it's about this big and it's hard and it's painful and he doesn't like it. And he's got kind of the urine scald back here. So he's winking, there's a little bit of urine dripping out, see? So he's, he's blocked. He's blocked enough that I can't just put him on IV fluids and try to run this, run it out. Um, the first thing that we're gonna do, because he has some funds, is take an x-ray. So I'm gonna take an x-ray, make sure there's not a stone. If there's a stone, then things need to, we need to do things a little differently. We're gonna also laser. So they're firing up the laser right now. Um, and I'm gonna laser the prepuce. That will sometimes help with inflammation. If I'm having trouble passing a catheter, which I always do under anesthesia, and I always give him an epidural block, then, um, then, then sometimes, sometimes we'll, um, you know, decompress the bladder. I'll put a, a needle and a syringe into the bladder and remove some of that urine because there's so much back pressure causing the occlusion of the penis. The other thing that I do is I massage the penis under <laughs> anesthesia. I have another video on that. And then we place a urinary catheter. For me, at minimum, it's three days of a urinary catheter in. I run the urine until it's clear. If they've blocked more than once, we talk about doing a PU surgery. Most people go bankrupt because they have to unblock their cat multiple times. There's a terrible epidemic in veterinary medicine to unblock them. People can only pay for 12 hours. They remove the catheter and then they reblock and then they want another $4,000. Talk about the finances up front. I am not opposed to having someone go home with a urinary catheter in place and an IV catheter in place. I know it's contraindicated. I know a lot of people want to argue about it, but those cats will live versus euthanasia because they're dying at home from being blocked or because it's so expensive that people can't afford it anywhere else. And then talk about doing a PU surgery. A PU surgery is about $1,500 here. Unblocking is somewhere between $1,000 and $1,500 here. And I just run fluids. He's bright, he's alert, he's looking around. I'm not going to do blood work. Um, if you don't have any money, I'm not gonna do x-rays and I'm not gonna do blood work. But your cat will tell you most of the clues that you need. If the heart sounds good and your animal is nice and alert, and nice and pink. So we check the mucous membranes color. If we're nice and pink, then I'm not gonna spend two to $300 on blood work. You know, this is managing a budget to get these guys oh, treated. So if you have any other questions, you can find a lot of information about block cats at my YouTube channel and my blog.